Today, we get into sealers. to a full automatic. <laughs> Fully automatic sanding blocks, oh, thank you. Oh my. Uh, illegal in California. <laughs> or causes <laughs> cancer, I don't know. Everything does in California. <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, how's it going? It's arm and shoulder day again. It is. I guess still, what? You don't usually have a white shirt. No, I don't. It's just, it's uh, kind of nice out here, but it gets a little nippy in the morning. So mm -hmm. it flip flops and sort of a long sleeve, it's, but it's a t-shirt. Cooler in here than outside. It is. Um, All right. So and I'm not getting that dirty. So uh, know, it's just, yeah. I mean, it's getting dusty. It's all relative. Yeah. Uh, Man, this is coming along. Yeah, I'll be going to the paint booth here pretty soon. I'm going to do another layer of sealer on it. Um, probably by the end of the week, final cut of sealer and I'll knock that down. And then we'll get it over to the booth and shoot some color and some clear. And what color? I don't know. Some kind of red. It's a factory <laughs> color. Oh, okay. The client's actually sending us a sample, so. Oh, all right. Uh, I wasn't really going to worry about it. So after we paint it, polish it, I think we are might be wiring it, and then it goes home. So oh. he's going to finish up. Oh, that's question. right. I like those because it's like oh, it'll yeah, take up great. take up room in the shop. Yeah, that's for sure. They basically come go from here out the door, All right. which I like. Yeah, that's great. Sealer, sealer, so, sealer, sealer. Well, speaking of sealer, of <laughs> speaking of sealer, we have some questions that came in. Okay, I want to ask you if you had any tips on spraying sealer hmm. in a restoration. It's good practice for actually shooting color and clear. Oh, okay. Because, because it's it's the same dynamics. Right. So when you're shooting, my number one tip is probably don't be afraid to put too much on. Mm -hmm. um, it, if you go really dry on your on your stuff, it won't have good adhesion, and then you're going to run into problems later on. So that's probably my number one because you can sand it off anyway. So it's not it's not that big of a deal if you get a run or a sag because you're going to be you're going to be doing some massive sanding to begin with. Mm -hmm. And how many coats do you put on? Well, it depends on the product. There's actually sealer primer. And then there's primer surfacer. Mm -hmm. So on the sealer primer, I usually do two layers right after blast. Okay. And so if you can actually look in here, this is bare metal here. Mm -hmm. And then this is that first two layers of sealer. Mm -hmm. And that's just enough to protect the body while it's over at the metal shop and having those guys are doing their stuff. When it comes back, um, generally I go ahead and I do my epoxy filler work. Mm -hmm. And then I do probably three good wet coats of sealer and then go directly into three or four good coats of surfacer, mm -hmm. which is also a primer. So okay. when you hear primer, there's two different, there's three different types of real primers, Yeah. but all they actually do is they, they, they build the foundation of it. So it's kind of like the brick and mortar underneath the house. Mm -hmm. um, and then we, after the high build, which I'm breaking down now, this will go up to a, uh, 220, 320. Okay. And so I'm, I'm kind of just leveling out. You see some real light dark spots here. But most of the panel's good. Mm -hmm. A little bit right there. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of filler work in there or sand more of that down. 
but since I'm getting into the bare metal, um, I'm at the point now where I really can't take any more material off and maintain the shape. Right. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a fine balance between actually doing this. So after this, I'm gonna do three layers of sealer, mm -hmm. let it dry overnight, and start the process of, of cutting down again. So what that does is that gives me that last stage right before paint. Mm -hmm. When we go to paint, we'll do a little bit of spot priming, color and clear, and call it good. Nice. So that's uh, one, two. So there's, there's three sessions yeah. of primer, but there are probably eight coats total sprayed of primer throughout the entire process. Most of that doesn't stay on the car because when I get into this stage, I'm trying to take off as much of the material as I possibly can yeah. without having more waves show up. So that's my ultimate goal. Okay. That's helpful. <sighs> Thank you, HGZ. HCS. <laughs> HTS. I appreciate the question. It's a good question. You know, it's it, it's a lot of stuff people figure, oh, we'll just rattle can it and then I just be good to go. Yeah. And don't do that no. because you're working with a single stage paint, which doesn't actually cure. Right. It dries. Yeah. That's a different. And it's not, it's not chemically resistant. Right. Yeah. So it's like I can actually write this stuff down with lacquer thinner and the product won't come off. You do that with a spray paint, yeah, you it'll mess. come right off. Yeah. So, and then with the 2K paints, the catalyzation, the catalyzer will actually interfere with or uh, interact mm -hmm. with a 1K substrate. So you will have bonding issues and all sorts of stuff. Remember, chemical or mechanical, there's only two types of bond in painting. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's see what's going on. It's, uh, this is Hersher, by the way. This is a yeah. European uh, 60, mm -hmm. but it's got a 59 deck lid. I don't know. So many parts. Like, little <laughs> weird stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, Here, you want to show them folks what we're doing? Huh. Yeah. We are getting bit by mosquitoes. Oh, man. Yeah. Is are it getting mosquito bad? Mosquito season yet? Mosquito season's coming. How about fly season? Are we done with that yet? I hope we are. Oh, I man. haven't seen very many of them lately, so that's good. Right. So we got a, we're still like last week, we're still in this parts conundrum. Right. We're going to wait on big parts, but so what we've been doing is doing a lot of the little stuff that we can. So mm -hmm. on like Riley, we put the clock and the fuel pressure in, uh, the hood seals, you know, the the stuff that we can put in the little um, fuel grommets mm -hmm. for fuel. You know, so started doing the little stuff that we usually do at the very end, but while we're waiting on stuff, we can do it. It won't be in the way of anything. So um, Riley's a good case and some of the other stuff we've done. Um, Shannon's got Mr. Bowers' bus up here finishing up, and it, it'll be going. This one we just put a motor in. It came in in this condition. We, they just wanted a new motor and see it break and get it safe so they could drive it on sale. So the, the, he's just finishing up the last few things on it. It should go home hopefully. Tailpipes are new too. Yeah. Yes, yes. He did. He actually did not have any tailpipes on the same. Yeah, oh, at just, all. Just had an exhaust coming out of the muffler. That's why it's all black well, under there. Well, so. that's interesting. Yeah, he didn't know he didn't have tailpipes. So yeah. We suggested, he's like, do I need new ones? You need them, period. Yeah, right? new so, old doesn't matter. You need something. So that's going on. So that should go through the day. And then like, right. we got all these cars still. Man, the waiting. Man, waiting. And waiting on Herbie, too. Herbie too. I just got to get back to it and uh, get her tuned out. And we got to get it done. Okay. Yeah, so shooting and then test drive it. Is it still not fire on one cylinder? Yeah, uh, that, that's why we was at with one cylinder not hitting. Okay. Yeah. So Mabel's still misbehaving. Yeah, she's misbehaving. You might have to change her name, misbehaving Mabel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that works. So then we got a couple things moving, at least out here. So we've been doing a bunch of work on Rusty, but we had to just stop on Rusty because we needed to do some work on this. So mm -hmm. we give Rusty a break. He's come a long way, so. Yeah, he really has. Yeah, and once again, it's a little stuff. That roof thing, obviously, over the last couple of weeks, you've seen it, the roof on, roof off, roof on. It's <laughs> a lot of fitting and right. putting it up there and checking. So it's, Joss got it all welded together now. It's one piece now. So the part that we, you can't see that was done is the actual rails for the rag top to fit in, which okay. was a lot of math, is in there now. Oh, right, yeah. And we had to cut parts of the old one and use them because they don't make it anymore and get that all in there. In fact, the nuts, the capture nuts for the rag topped rails itself, we had to order some new nuts because uh -huh. those were all rusty. We had to drill them out. So those are on their way. But anyways, he got it all welded up in there and it's all solid, one big unit now. All right, how heavy is that to be pulling on and off and on and off and on and off? It's not that bad. It's, it's not bad? Really all right. Door. 
Now there's one piece. It's easy. When we were putting it on there, we had little pieces off oh, it. It's kind of flimsy and yeah. uncoordinated. But now it's it, it comes in off there pretty good. So it's That's it's great. good. But hopefully it's it's up there now. I don't think it has to come off again. So I'm he's fixing so. to, to weld it down to the bus. Ooh. And then it'll be that'll be done with it. And then from there, uh, the rag top stuff rails were all sent out to mm -hmm. have the rag top stuff built. The chrome parts of it were sent to chrome, so it that can be done. So hopefully. By the time everything lines up, we're good. I think the um, air ride suspension is next week. Next week oh, right great. Here. So that that's kind of holding a couple things up because we have to do some modifications to the frame itself for that. Yeah. So until it gets here, we can't figure out what we have to cut. So it really can't go to paint until that gets here anyway. Right. So we have to do some cutting out of that. But is that um, Wagons West? Yeah, Nate over at Wagons West. He's doing a one-off kit for us. Wow. So, props, Nate. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. So then, uh, but as far as actual sheet metal left, really the only thing is that the package tray needs to go in, the okay. inner parts of the windows, um, the doors have already been, we just got to put them back on, and then uh, that's it. I think he has everything else done, right? Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, think there's just a few it. little things. Yeah, the, making sure that... But as far as the major metal work, it, it'll be done. So we're really close. Yeah. You know, it may not look like it because it still just looks... It's going to feel yeah. kind of satisfying to... Well, it'll be satisfying you know? when it goes to blast. Well, yeah. Yeah. Blasted. Right. And, it, and then it's, you know... Yeah. It looks like a bust again. So, but anyways, <laughs> she's real close. We got to do some alignment on the doors. Uh-huh. Because now's the time to do it. Not oh, after yeah. it's painted. Right. So, we're going to do that and get that all perfect. That and the hatch. So, we got these working. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put the rear pieces together. They're new, brand new sitting over there. And then she'll be ready to go. So, Fast. anyways. All right. Then how about so, this? while we're in that pattern, Mr. Fonseca's rail, we, we had... If you remember passing the videos, we had a problem with this spring plate. So on a, mm -hmm. uh, on a regular VW, the spring plate, obviously there's a there's a spring in here and it puts tension. Well, the rails are made, some of them in somebody's garage, you know what right. I'm saying? So we have a tool that we use to do that, but with this rail where they mounted it, we couldn't use the tool to bring the spring plate oh. up. So it was a big deal to try to get the spring up to where it would go in, but we got that all done. So it's all done. We're fixing the mount the tires on it. And rolling wise, she's done. All that's left on this, it's running, it's driving. I got the seat in. I couldn't put the other seat in because we're right on this. So I'm gonna put the seats <laughs> in. We've got a throttle cable we gotta fix, and the steering parts will be here in a minute, and she should be done. So Whoa. hopefully by next week you'll see a video of this thing driving with lights working. Oh and yeah. Bit. And uh, and it'd be good. The four little rail. We'll miss her, but she needs to get on out of here. Well, she takes up a lot of space too. Yeah, a lot of space, and there's a lot of big parts like the <laughs> yeah. The big, uh, skid plate for the motors over there, but we couldn't put in on them while we're still waiting on this, so it's a lot of stuff laying around. Same thing with Rusty. Rusty's got metal everywhere. Hopefully, <laughs> we get it all done. So that's that. Great. Um, we got Mr. Miller's bug. We finally has been trapped inside because it was waiting on parts. Those parts did come in, so we get the wheels back on. So it's out here now, finally in the sun. We can. Uh, <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> we can. Uh, I put his rear seat in because we were waiting on that to okay. do. So I got his rear seat in. Which oh yeah. Still got. We still got some parts laying around, but his rear seats in. He didn't get new door cards, but those were in decent shape, so we kept that. His rear carpet kits in. Put some little things on, like the visors and and stuff like that. Oh, I like and, his, uh, his driver's. Seat. Yeah, that's the driver's seat. That's <laughs> what we've been driving on. So yeah, it's adjustable. It moves back and forth. For real, is you, it stale? So. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but it works. So. Anyways, that's his little bug. And Great. Other than that, we're really waiting on parts. You know, yeah. we got uh, we got another fifty-seven oval right here that we're waiting on parts to come. All the metal parts we've Is talked about it before. This is hardened, yeah. Uh -huh. So we've got some of the parts in. You can see how bad the rust is. Oh, I know yeah. we've talked about kind of well, as soon as those parts, he's ready to go. He's primed, and we just got to get those parts, cut them in there. He'll be the next one to go to the paint booth Great. after we're done with Mr. Hersker's car. Uh, Mr. Hersker, the one that you know, y'all were talking with a uh, spook about he's sending his wheels here because his chassis is in there still mm -hmm. oh they're here oh, okay so his wheels are here that? we're gonna do a, we're gonna have them double powder coated factory Ooh. a factory um uh, vw color so because he's trying to keep it really stock, stock yeah yeah so those wheels we're gonna send off and have those powder coated so hopefully his nice. chassis be rolling by next week too so yeah what you got here maybe it's josh's oh there we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we're still we're still looking a year out.
uh, get your project in the door. Yeah. So you're doing the inquiries. That's actually the best way to do because you get us on the radar. Um, you know, info at aircoldcustoms.com or you can give us a call. It's 256-828-2123. Uh, yep. uh, if you could do that, you're going to end up talking with this joker. If you give an email, <laughs> you're probably going to be talking with this joker. Oh, boy. Jokers everywhere. Jokers. All right. Well, you guys know what to do. Good night, nice people. people.